Plus, the day three of the Daniel Riley trial is set to start in the next half hour or so. Yeah, and today could bring more gripping testimony about the crash that cost volleyball player Janae Edmondson her legs. Fox News' Chris Renier downtown with a preview and a recap of day two testimony. Janae Edmondson herself and her mother could both take the stand today. This trial continuing to unfold inside the Carnahan Courthouse behind us here. Authorities have told us that this trial was expected to take three days, and this is the third day. Yesterday, during the second day of testimony, prosecutors called an accident reconstruction expert who broke down a computer recreation of the crash, which took place in February of last year. The expert testifying that the Audi SUV, which police say Daniel Riley was driving, accelerated into the intersection at St. Charles and North 11th Streets downtown. Authorities saying in the seconds before the crash, Riley sped up from five miles per hour to 45 miles per hour and violated the yield sign at the intersection. A Chevy Malibu traveling about 30 miles per hour was approaching the intersection and hit Riley's SUV, sending it airborne. Investigators say the Malibu driver did not have time to react. Janae, who was in town for a volleyball tournament and was walking with her family, was pinned between Riley's SUV and a parked car. Both of her legs had to be amputated. Riley is facing five counts, including assault, armed criminal action, and driving without a valid license. Prosecutors claim the crash never would have happened if Riley did not rapidly accelerate through the intersection. But Riley's attorney, Dan Deemer, arguing that the recreation was not precise. Deemer shifting blame to the Malibu driver and also questioning the police investigation. You will hear from the prosecutor first, then Deemer. My understanding is saying even if the Audi didn't touch its brakes at all, as long as it wasn't pedal to the metal, the, ex the crash would never happen. That's right. And yet the Malibu had still enough force with less weight to lift and start to roll the Audi. That's correct. A Missouri Highway Patrol toxicologist testified that a blood test revealed Riley had fentanyl, codeine, and THC in his system on the night of the crash. Police also testifying that Riley showed no remorse after the wreck. Reporting downtown, I'm Chris Renier.